What is going on, everybody, on YouTube, Facebook? Steve again with Rake and Profit. Coming to you with another live hangout video. And in today's live hangout, we are going to be going over some gloves and mittens. And this is a uh, an area that I really haven't concentrated much of my time on. But I know just from others on YouTube and Facebook and friends of mine that there's definitely money to be made. People are selling these types of items and they're definitely sought after. So I figured why not spend a little bit of time, maybe 15 to 20 minutes studying a few different types of items that are selling for some good money and then spend a little bit of time answering some questions from you folks in the comment section. So as you can see, we are on the, uh, the page on eBay that is under the men's accessories called Gloves and Mittens. And um, we're going to be studying some items, looking at some brands, looking at some price points, some different styles. So maybe we can put ourselves in the position to find these things, recognize them, and buy them and make a profit. But before we get into the uh, actual study session, I want to make sure that, first of all, you could hear me clearly. And secondly, I want to make sure that you could actually see my screen. And the reason why I want you to see the screen is so I can show you these items and kind of go through the eBay listings and whatnot and just research together. So leave a comment below under the YouTube section and let me know if you could hear me and if you can see my screen. Give it a few minutes to see if everything's good to go. And once I get the green light, we'll get into things. So um, bear with me for a moment. I'm going to just look around right now and see what's going on. Check the comment section. Looks like we got one person watching right now. Woohoo! All right, so I believe things are good to go. I'm going to just jump right into it and uh, hit some of these listings and check out to see what we have right here. So it looks like the first item, $399. The brand Burberry, definitely a very popular brand. Burberry Pro, I can't even pronounce that word. Leather studded gloves, size 8.5. Let's see, are these men's or women's? I believe it should be men's. I'm under the men's accessories section. $399. Looks like they got those little studs, like it says in the title. Pretty nice leather. I'm not sure if they're like motorcycle gloves or what, but uh, I think it's the brand right here that's really yielding the huge profits. Burberry. Check out the listing. Like new, no flaws. So definitely be on the lookout for Burberry gloves. I'm going to have to, you know, obviously look a little further in the eBay sold listings to see what the Burberry gloves are doing, but it's definitely a good start. Looks like we got some Harley Davidson gloves, 25 bucks. I actually picked up a pair of those the other day. The seller actually threw in a pair of, they were like the half finger gloves, leather. They threw it in with that uh, Harley, Mo uh, Harley Davidson motorcycle helmet, the 100th anniversary runs. Anniversary one, I can't even talk, it's getting late. But um, yeah, those should fetch 15 to 20. These look like look like they fetch 25. Here we got some more studded gloves, genuine Harley Davidson, women's, and they are actually in the wrong section because we're under men's accessories, but $44.99. Here's a brand I've never heard of before, Outdoor Research. Matter of fact, I think I may have heard of this brand. I think they make men's jackets as well, and they go for some good money. Outdoor Research is the brand. Slipstream, not sure what that means. Maybe it's the style. Yep, that's the name. Windstopper, Black Gloves Medium, 29 buckaroos. Let's take a look at the listing. They got the pictures in there, description, size medium, polyester, weather protection gloves, pre-owned. Very nice. Be on the lookout for that brand, Outdoor Research. And if you guys are just tuning in, we're pretty much just studying the uh, sold listings. We're getting acquainted with different items within the... Uh, gloves and mittens section under the men's accessories on eBay and you know, we're just putting ourselves in a position to find these things not to find them but if we ever come across these things we could have the education in the back of our head and our brain to be able to pick them up you know and take a calculated risk to make a profit and that's really what it's all about the more you research the more you educate the more you watch videos and you buy books and you learn in all different types of areas the, the better off you're gonna be so uh... I love doing this. I love researching. I mean, it's not the, the, the sexiest thing in the world or the funniest thing. I always use that word. But, you know, it's I enjoy it because I know the more I research, the more future profits I will put in my pocket, the better the better time I'll have when I'm at the thrift stores. So uh, next item, it looks like we got some Oakley gloves. <clears throat> and Oakley is definitely an excellent brand. Oakley glasses, Oakley sweatshirts, Oakley hats. Oakley is a great brand. 40 buckaroos right there. 
I'm not sure what kind of glove this is. It, it almost looks like, like a motorcycle glove. I'm, I'm so uneducated when it comes to gloves. All right. Next item, looks like we got some size large Kevlar motorcycle racing gloves. I know Kevlar is definitely one of those, is it a material? Definitely one of those materials, though, that can bring you in some good cash. I'm trying to see what the brand is. Hardly used, not perfect, but as close as it gets. I don't even know if there's a brand. Is there anything in the item specifics? It doesn't even look like they have an item specifics. Hmm. I don't know. 25 bucks, though. Kevlar. Here we got some more Oakley gloves, 39 bucks. So we're starting to see a pattern. Looks like these are the North Face gloves. We all know that brand. That brand could bring in some really good money. Excuse me, I'm going to take a drink. Ah. All right, next up, Police Search Gloves. Damascus, short wrist, size 9, gray leather. Interest, 26 bucks. Not sure what the brand is or if it has a brand. Police Search, that could be the brand. Police Search Gloves. Or I don't know if that's just a keyword. Let's see if we can find a picture of the tag. I don't see anything, so I'm going to have to do some more research on that. Not sure what the brand is or if there is a brand or it's for police officers, but 26 bucks right there. Let's go into the comments real quick, see if anybody has any questions or concerns. I know it's pretty late, so there's probably not going to be a lot of people watching right now. We only got nine people in the room, but still, thanks for coming in. Thanks for watching and uh, you know, putting that future money in your pocket. Retro aficionado. What is going on, my green room dog? Why mittens, Dewey Keen says. I have no clue. I was just, I'm a weirdo. Sometimes I'll just go into the eBay, uh, onto the eBay website and go under men's because that's what I focus on right now. And I'll just look to see what's under there. I mean, sweaters, jackets, mittens, all the same thing. I mean, it's always good to be well-rounded. And, uh, you know, I, I like to educate myself on things that I have no clue about, like ties, we went over that. Um, belts is something that I'd like to do some more. Mittens. I mean, even snow hats and stuff like that because I see these things all the time, but I really don't know anything about them. So why mittens? Because I have no clue about them, and I know I see them often. So why not You know, put ourselves in a position to you know, have a chance to make some money? We got El Philly in the house. Always see you talking about Patagonia. I scored today. Found my first Patagonia. Brand new with tags. Oh, my God. I am watering at the mouth. Sheer Dark Nine, I can hear you and see your screen. Excellent. Thanks for watching. Lola Gordon, all sounding good. Palm Beach Picker, what is happening? Hello, how is it going tonight? Glad to see you in a hangout. Things are going well. Just got finished a little while ago with the uh, the Green Room hangout, so we had a good time. We ended up covering some, uh, some of our favorite clothing items to sell. So, again, if you guys haven't uh, checked the, the Green Room out, definitely go over there and check it out. Some really good free videos, and also we have a uh, subscription-based Facebook group, which you could find under Retro Aficionado's page. He has it somewhere. I'll leave a link afterwards, but uh, definitely some awesome stuff right there. But let's get back into the mittens and gloves. Why mittens and gloves? Because, you guys, there's, there's money to be made with everything. Who talks about mittens and gloves? I haven't heard anybody talk about this on YouTube, so... I'm talking about it now. We're going to make some money selling mittens and gloves. All right, what do we got here? Hiltz Willard Men's Lambskin Leather Driving Gloves. 32 buckaroos. Never heard of this brand right here. Let's check that out. And again, guys, you know, um, all because one item sells for a good profit in a brand, like, for example, Hiltz Willard, all because this item sells really well, doesn't mean that all items in this brand are going to sell well. It is up to you to take these brands and this information that you find and do further due diligence because just like clothing where maybe a Ralph Lauren polo shirt will sell for 30 maybe uh, another Ralph Lauren polo shirt will only sell for 6 So there's a lot of things that could cause an item to increase in value. It could be the size. It could be the material. It could be the color. It could be the pattern. It could be the season. It could be luck sometimes, just finding that right person come along. So definitely take this information and do some more due diligence. And, uh, you know, type Hiltz Willard into the uh, search, engine, search engine under uh, Mittens and Gloves after and uh, see what's going on in the brand. I'm just kind of getting you guys a little uh, warmed up, but you got to take it one step further. All right, what do we got here? Medieval leather and metal. I don't even know how to pronounce that word. I'm horrible, guys, at like 
certain things in this world. All right, what do we got here? Uh, gauntlet. Is that how you pronounce it? This auction is for one medieval leather and metal gauntlet. Very good condition. Forty-four ninety-nine. Wow, that's a pretty crazy uh, item right there. I don't know if you're ever going to find that at the thrift store, but if you do, you might want to pick it up. Men's extra large black driving racing suit. I think you're in the wrong category. Harley Davidson gloves. Again, these things are selling. Here's Alpine Star. And um, I don't know if I've ever sold anything in this brand, but I know it's popular with like racing and uh, dirt bikes, I believe. $39.99 now, sweet. I don't know if I would have seen these things maybe a few days ago without the research if I would have picked them up, but now for sure I will. Let's check out the listing. Excellent condition, Alpine Star Sport Bike Gloves and only a couple months old. Great premium all leather for a great price. Sweet. Put that brand in your memory banks. What do we got up next? We got two pairs of Harley Davidson. See, these are the types of gloves that I, that I um, got thrown into the deal with the uh, Harley Davidson helmet. And um, yeah, 32 bucks for two. It looks like individually they're selling between 15 and 20. So that's kind of what I uh, thought I would get. Here's some men's leather driving gloves. I notice a lot of these gloves don't even have a brand on them. So I'm not sure. I don't know. This doesn't look like it has a brand either. Maybe it does. I'm not sure. I can't see it though. 28 bucks though, leather gloves. I mean, leather is one of those materials, especially with like um, jackets when it comes to like clothing. I mean, leather sells. It really does. I mean, obviously brand is going to play a big role in it, but still, even if you find a leather jacket that doesn't have a brand and it's just high quality leather and it's, you know, in good condition, you can still bring in some good money in it. It seems like the same applies when it comes to gloves as well. What is the difference? This is... I can't believe I'm saying this, but what's the difference between a glove and a mitten? A glove, in my opinion, I think it's it's got the fingers, right? And then a mitten is kind of just like that. It's like that one little pocket that you put your hands in. I'm I'm not sure if that's the the honest definition. Like right here, this looks like a mitten because you got the 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 thing for your thumb. Your thumb goes in, and then you have your other four fingers. All right, those are some black leather motorcycle gloves with. Gauntlets, if that's how you pronounce it, 1950s, $30.99. Here's a brand I've never heard of. Let's check this uh, puppy out. Fonz? Fonz? Men's brown leather gloves, rabbit fur lining, 45 bucks. Wow. I mean, imagine picking these things up at a yard sale for 50 cents or a dollar, maybe even two or three bucks. 45 bucks for these. I mean, that just looks quality. Leather, leather, leather. And that rabbit uh, fur, that's pretty crazy right there. I'm going to go into comments real quick. I want to make sure I'm shouting people out. Looks like we got 12 people in the room. 13. Six likes. I appreciate it. If you guys like these videos, give it a little plug. You know, Like it. Hit it. Hit that like button. Let me know. I'll keep making these videos. I enjoy making them. Again, I am here to help you folks out, but to be 100% honest, I'm really doing this to help myself out. I'm, I'm always researching items with the screen share. That's what I'm talking about. I'm researching items. I'm looking to see what's profitable, but I figured, hey, if I could kill two birds with one stone and, you know, help myself out and also help you out, why not? So I enjoy making these videos, you know, hit the like button. Let me know. That's how I gauge, you know, if you guys like it or not. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down. Who cares? Whatever. Can't make everybody happy, but if you do, you know, hit the like, leave a comment, let me know. See who else we got in the comments. Do it Keen says, not sure about the brands, but Hubby's deployment military gear is Kevlar. Those pads for knees and weird pants, and I think breastplates and helmets are made from that. Yeah, I think you're right, too. A lot of people wear that, um, like in the, the police officers and the military, from uh, just for protection. Let's see. Palm Beach Picker says, I think those last gloves are for searching people and vehicles used by police to protect their hands from pointy objects. I think you're right, too. Good comment right there. Ninja Cat. What's going on? What is happening? I uh, Wow, that is a Ninja Cat. I'm looking at your avatar. That's awesome. We got Norx Contacts. Hey, Raken, I've seen some leather bicycle gloves for over $100. Awesome. Maybe we'll run across some. Let's get back into the uh, sold items. 
Here's some gloves. Ice armor gloves, large ice fishing. So this must be used for ice fishing, obviously. I'm Mr. Obvious tonight. Um, let's see. And you folks ever been ice fishing? I've never been ice fishing. My my father's a huge fisherman. He's um he's more into like bass bass and whatnot. He doesn't really go uh, in the ocean or do ice fishing much. But I've always wanted to go ice fishing. I always thought it was pretty cool. You know, you go out on the uh, the frozen ice and you cut out your little circle. I, I don't know much about it, but uh I don't know. I if you guys have ever been ice fishing, let me know. Um, just let me know your experience with it. It sounds pretty freaking cool. Ice Armor is the brand. Twenty five bucks. It's definitely a brand I'm going to look at more after this hangout or another day. I'm probably going to get to bed soon, but uh, Ice Armor. All right, what else do we have? Simpson Leather Rare Gloves. Posse Driving Gloves with Red and White Large. I've never heard of that brand either. Simpson. Huh. Very, very nice looking. Picture's not that great. It's very blurry, but it's still brought thirty two ninety nine, which tells me that there's a demand for this for this item. Just because, like I said, the picture's not that great. I mean, that's a better picture. Large Simpson. I'm not sure what these are used for. Let's check out the uh, the listing. There's no reserve auction. One pair pre owned. Simpson Posse Grip Driving Gloves. So I'm guessing these are for like NASCAR drivers or just people that are just. I don't know. It's obviously for driving, but. Maybe to keep a really good grip, and I don't know. Cool though, awesome. New brand, thirty-two ninety-nine. Butterfly Heart Diamonds. That's a cool uh, eBay name. Here's Harley Davidson again. Coach, men's leather gloves. Everybody knows that brand, especially the ladies. Like ninety-nine percent of the lady population has a Coach bag. Here's Outdoor Research again. These are mittens. And uh, twenty six fifty two. Here are some vintage antique men's suede leather gloves. Twenty eight. Wow. What is what is this? Arm gloves. I've never even heard of an arm glove. What is an arm glove? What do you just put it on your forearm or something? Here's a picture. <laughs> wow. That's a first. Arm glove. If you guys know anything about arm gloves, leave a comment below. That's pretty cool right there. But uh, look at this guy. He's just killing the comp, the, uh, the title with keywords with all these different brand names. Gavinci, Hummy, Christian Dior. I don't even know who makes this. Is it Christian Dior? I don't know. This listing is sketching me out. All right. Well, learn something new. There's something called an arm glove, and it actually exists. All right, let's get into the next item. Black Diamond. Never heard of that brand. Mercury Mitts, men's size medium, never worn. Black Diamond. Wow, those things look like they're definitely made with some high quality, nice stitching. It's got the little the belt to tighten it up. Black Diamond, Mercury Mitts, men's size medium. I bought these a few seasons back and never used them. They traveled in my backpack on one trip. Though we're never actually worn. Retail value one hundred fourteen ninety five. Check out the description. Good for frigid temps, well below zero. The black diamond mercury mitt is also versatile enough to use for summer mountaineering. Dexterity for working with ropes or swinging an ice axe comes from the mercury mitt's remo removable trigger finger line with the hundred percent waterproof B dry insert keeps slushy snow out on sunny spring afternoons. Wow, these things are cool. Mittens, one hundred fourteen ninety five MSRP. Keep that brand in your memory banks for sure. That brand's crazy. I'm gonna come out with a new book, hundred one killer mittens. All right, what do we got here? Vintage Eddie Bauer leather gloves, thirty four ninety nine. Looks like they took a best offer. Anytime there's a line going through the price, it's a best offer being accepted. Let's check that out. Hit the print button to see what they accepted it for, and it looks like we got twenty seven bucks. It's pretty cool, and I, I feel like I've passed up these types of items very often at thrift stores and yard sales especially, and for, for sure now I'm not going to be passing them up because, I mean, and imagine how much you guys think this would be to, to ship out. It would definitely go first class. I'm guessing it would probably weigh, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I guess it would be first class maybe 10, 11 ounces. I mean, what? three dollars so uh, shipping would be easy you wouldn't have to worry about getting damaged 
And it uh, looks like the profit margins are pretty good. I'm not sure what they charge for gloves and mittens at the thrift stores. Honestly, you guys, I never really look. Let me know what they charge if you guys are selling these types of items. But um, let me go into the comments real quick, see if anyone else is popping in. 11 likes. I appreciate that. We got 16 people watching at 11.30 Eastern time, so that's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting anybody to watch this late. But I'm sure there's some folks out there doing some listings and you know, just doing their thing, just listening to this in the background. James Nimi, I finally made it to a live hangout. Woo woo! I'm glad you're here for your uh, first live hangout. You know, it's a little low energy tonight. We're just, you know, looking at some gloves and mittens. You know, I'm I'm, I'm a little tired. Just got done with the green room hangout, but like I said, I, I've said this before. I really enjoy doing the, um, you know, the research late at night, especially before I go to bed. I feel like I retain it better. Maybe I dream about it and I <laughs> remember it over time. But uh, yeah, you know, just helping myself out and also helping you out. Like I said, killing two birds with one stone. Retro aficionado says, join the green room. You got it. That's the deal right there. Palm Beach Picker, I sold a pair of lacrosse gloves for a good penny to a guy in Japan one time. Awesome. And it looks like it's it for the comments. We're going to go back into the comment section real quick. Let's see, how long has this video been up for? All right, it looks like we've been up for about 21 minutes. So we're going to go for a few more minutes, and uh, I'm going to get to bed. So I can wake up at a reasonable time. Got a lot to do tomorrow. Let's see. Harley Davidson again. These Harley Davidson gloves sell like hotcakes. Here's some nice gloves. An awesome brand that I love to pick up in terms of uh, clothing. John Vervados. Black leather fingerless insulated gloves. Size large. $54.99. Not bad at all. That's a nice dinner with you and your friend or spouse or whatnot. Fifty-four ninety-nine. These gloves are worn once and are in like new condition. Comes from a smoke and pet-free home. Yeah, that's an awesome brand right there. I would definitely pick up leather gloves made by John Varvatos. Hello for your consideration. <laughs> I love how they start off the listing from John Varvatos Star USA. The beautiful pair of black leather fingerless gloves with superior attention to detail. Awesome, awesome. That's a brand definitely to pick up. All day long. Let's see what else we got here. North Face gloves, another North Face. It's a brand we all know about. Here's somebody again posting in the wrong section on eBay, and they still sold it for $149.99. Here we got some men's vintage gloves, 34. Vintage Whitting or Whiting, Whitting, Whiting, and Davis stainless steel metal, metal mesh gloves, steampunk butcher. Wow, $49.99. What does this actually sell for? Let's check that out. Wow, look at those gloves. Those things are freaking rad. Looks like something you see in like a killer movie or something. 30 bucks, not bad at all. That's cool. That is really cool. Whitting and Davis Safety Stainless Steel. <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. I love it though. Let me know in the comments, folks. I know there's not too many people watching right now, and I'm sure you guys are kind of just chilling out and whatnot, but if you're on your computer and you're, you're in the comments, let me know if you guys have ever had an experience selling gloves and mittens. Are there any specific styles that do well for you, if you don't mind sharing a little insider secret? Any brands that have done well? Any tips and pointers for the listeners and the viewers would definitely be greatly appreciated. I, you know, Let's help each other out. All right, what do we got here? Ferrari. Oh my God, Ferrari is one of those name brands that's just like anything associated with Ferrari just sells like crazy. Look at these things. These are probably driving gloves. Yep, red leather driving gloves, 61. I'm Mr. Obvious today. Yeah, you don't even have to put much of a description. The name Ferrari will sell it enough, but genuine leather, yeah. You're going to pick these things up all day long, no questions asked. There's some more men's Harley Davidson. Oakley. Here's another brand I haven't heard of before. Sirius. Is that what the brand is called? Let's let's check this out. 70 bucks, two bids plus six dollars to ship. Holy moly. Looks like it says waterproof, breathable. What 
what is going on here? There's a there's a charger. What do you charge the gloves up? These gloves are in perfect condition. They were taken out of packaging and used once. What's the brand name? Is the brand serious? Is that what it says on there? Can't really see it. I see something extreme. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look this up a little more. I'm not really sure what's going on there. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on with the charger. Heat touch. Oh, okay. So I guess you could heat these things up. Wow, that's crazy. Huh. That would definitely come in handy. What is this? What is this from? 1726? Vintage Tibetan yak fur mittens? What? What is this? I'm getting freaked out with these things. <laughs> wow, 45 bucks. It looks like they take a bus. They took a best offer and accepted 35. That's pretty cool right there. Although I'm not sure if I'd want these in my house. These things, I don't know. There's something about them that's a little odd. But hey, if you can make some money, pick them up. Here's Harley Davidson again. I mean, that's a common that's a common name that we're seeing that they're selling a lot. I mean, left and right, Harley, Harley, Harley. Here's another Ferrari. Here's a used deerskin leather Damascus. I'm not sure. Oh, here I'm not I'm not sure what Damascus means. I'll have to look that word up after. But I, I remember it was associated with the police gloves as well. So these are like the search gloves. It's the I guess it's the gloves that they wear when they're searching cars or doing any type of search. Here's another brand, never heard of Denise. Black motorcycle gloves, D A I N E S E, forty five bucks. Oakley, Oakley, Harley Davidson. Here's some mittens, U G G Australia flip fingerless knit gloves, forty four bucks. Wow, let's look at that for a second. Hmm. Oh, UGG. Wow, I I gotta get some sleep. I called it U G G. Yeah, UGG's an awesome brand. The girls are wearing these things, the Uggs, the boots, definitely for some good profit, picking that type of brand up, or that type of item up in the Ugg brand. All right, we're going to get to one more item, and then I'm going to hit the sack, because I can already tell I'm not talking English anymore. When I get tired, I do not talk English, and I usually don't make sense. All right, let's find one more brand that I've never found before, or I've never heard of before. Here we go. Gerbings G3 heated motorcycle gloves, again, with these Heated gloves. I didn't even know these things really existed. That's cool. Gerbings. Check out the picture. The world's warmest clothing. I bet it is if you could heat it up. $69.99. You are bidding on Gerbings G3 heated motorcycle gloves. Wow. Controller, size medium. They don't come with the battery harness, but one is available on eBay for $10. Awesome. So hopefully you folks learned some things about gloves and mittens. If you ever want to do the research, just go to clothing, shoes, and accessories. Go under either men's or women's accessories, and then go to gloves and mittens. And you can do what I do, you know, search and uh, see what see what types of items are selling. Just so you know, I did set the criteria to pre-owned twenty-five dollars or more in terms of the price, just because I didn't want to have to sift through the items that only sold for a few bucks. I wanted to find the items that sold for good money. So uh, you could do this, like I said. Research, educate yourself. It's key to uh, you know finding more items and you know potentially making more profit. I'm gonna go into the comments section one last time, shout some more people out, say what up, and uh, answer some questions if anyone's in the uh, comments section. But we're gonna wrap things up. Eng B, the metal gloves are used by chefs. They keep you from cutting your fingers. Well, that definitely would come in handy. Thanks for that. I appreciate it. Do it keen mitten is the ones that kids wear with one space for thumb. Thank you. And uh, looks like okay, James Nemi. Have you ever come across an authentic Michael Jackson glove worn by MJ himself? I, I can't say that I have. Cool Toads Research Live. What a great idea. That's what I'm talking about. Cool Toads. You know it. We want to try to get you on a green room sometime. So uh, definitely hit me up. What do we got here? Anything new? Jman84100, what's up, breaking fellow CT picker? We got another Connecticut guy in the house, guy or girl yet, yeah, guy Jman. <laughs> Good to have you here. 
And it uh, looks like that's going to do it. I appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, hitting that like button. If you like these videos, show some support. Hit the like button. It makes me feel good. It lets me know that you guys enjoy the videos. And if you guys have any suggestions for future videos in terms of research, maybe you want to learn about a specific item, a specific style, even a specific, you know, pattern or whatnot. Just let me know in the comments. We'll uh, do some uh, study sessions. We'll research together. I'll answer your questions. We'll have some fun. But uh, you know, you got to keep the education, you know, somewhat entertaining. You got to switch things up. And you know, I enjoy doing this. So hopefully, you guys found value in it. Hopefully, you found some new brands, some new styles, some new price points to uh, keep in your mind. So when you're out to thrift stores, yard sales, auctions, wherever you go to find inventory, you could find these things and pick them up for a good deal and you know, make some money. So again, have yourselves a great night. Keep on picking and making that money. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.